studying the book of Daniel chapter 1, I got to verse 20 and I stopped and I pondered. Hallelujah. I want to read it, Daniel chapter 1 verse 20. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that, that were in all his realm. Beloved, Daniel stood out after the whole test. The Bible says he was found wonderful in all matters of wisdom and knowledge above the sorcerers of uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Why did Daniel stood out? Number one, Daniel refused to defile himself with the king's meat. He did not want to touch anything or eat anything unclean. Beloved, listen, if you decide to stand out in the work with God and decide not to corrupt yourself with the matter of, uh, of the world, God will have interest in you. Praise God. You cannot eat on both tables and still be a child of God. Some people are double mountain some people are not focused on god a little here and there they are compromisers you can't eat on the table of babel and the table of baal and see serve jehovah god so because of this god granted daniel favor before nebuchadnezzar number two daniel decided to take a special fast he said i'm not going to be a part of the table of the king corrupted meat Beloved, if you want God to use you, if you want to do exploit for God, if you want to stand out as a child of God, you must detest the food from the pit of hell. You must reject corrupting yourself from the meat of the table of liars and thieves. Sometimes it's not every offering they bring to you, you take. Sometimes in not every meal the king called you to eat, you must eat if God must use you. Praise God. Listen to me. In matter of understanding, at the end of 10 days, they found out that Daniel stood out. Why? Because Daniel chose to glorify the name of the Lord. So God's favor came upon him, even in the palace of Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. Beloved, no matter the situation you are going through, if you choose not to corrupt yourself and choose to stand firm, you cannot say you are a prophet of God and you are consulting herbalists. You are going everywhere looking for occult power and still want to be a prophet of the living God. No, no, no. God don't support liars. God don't support thieves. You cannot stand on the altar of God and give lies and fake testimonies and expect God to back you. It's not possible. Right now, I said, if you are a prophet of Baal that have disguised to become prophet of God, change from it because God will disgrace you one of these days. Where can wisdom be found? In the book of Psalm 111 verse 10, the Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Beloved, if you need wisdom, fear God. God is the only, only the, the archive of wisdom. God has all wisdom to give to his people. And understanding is for those who keep his commandment. Beloved, the Bible says, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask. That's in the book of James chapter 1 verse 5. Ask God for wisdom and God will give you wisdom. God. So Daniel was different. His gaze was different. And when he was brought up because he honored God, God opened the door and the grace of wisdom was upon him more. And the understanding was on him. Daniel succeeded to stand up because he decided to please God with his life. So beloved, if you choose to please God with your life, God will honor himself. God will honor himself in your, your life. He will use you mightily. Run away from talking what you don't know. Run away from gossip. Run away from anything evil. I prophesy over, life, over your life that you will stand out from today. You will stand out in the name of Jesus because you have decided to pull out the garment of deceit and lies. God will shine his light upon you. You will stand out in your dispensation, in everything you do, in the mighty name of Jesus. In your business, you will stand out. In life, in the world, you will stand out. God will favor you. You will serve God. The wisdom of God to handle every situation that will come to you is released upon you today. Receive grace to stand out. Receive grace to stand out. Receive grace to succeed in all you are endeavor. Satan can never cover you. Every veil of lies, every veil of darkness that was covering you, I break them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive wisdom from God and receive understanding. The Bible says in all you are getting, get wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Turn out in your generation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All you need is Jesus Christ. Say after me, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
My name is Matthew Asin Yang, the God General of Apostolic Army International. Make sure you join the 144,000 Battalion of Apostolic Army now, and you will never regret it. We are on offensive, not on defensive. Be like Daniel in this season. Come and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Always call me on 0811-0020505. Call me for counseling. Call me for prayers. Come and let me lay hands and let Jesus deliver you and bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.